Welcome everyone. My name is Nielsen Carlin. I've been an illustrator, fine artist, and art instructor for almost 30 years. In 2021, I hosted a series of online workshops, which included portrait, landscape, floral, surfaces, and fabric painting. I'm happy to announce all of these will be available on gumroad.com starting on July 8th with portrait painting from photographs. So if we start just with this rectangular prism, obviously again, if we're thinking about simple to complex, in my painting process, the most simple I can get if I'm gonna lay down this first application of paint is to just average out my lights and shadows, right? That would be the simplest. And what that would look like then, it would make the object look like a block form, right? It just has one plane that is of a particular value for the light, one plane that is a particular value for the shadow. That is the most simple. We mix up a good batch of this. Shadow and light. And we'll just keep the light as the overall average. I'm going to just raise this. There we go. A little bit. There we go. I will make sure to photograph all of this and send it to you. Don't worry about that. I'll keep the middle light, just an average orange, neutralized it just a little bit. So the most simple lay-in would be just to mass everything in as light and shadow, two values. Right? And you'll often see some people do that, right? They'll take a complex thing and instead of getting caught up in the details, they will just average the entire light mass at whatever the particular local color, right? The average hue value and chroma they see when they squint. They'll start from a, a position of very simple and just get the light and shade down, right? That gives us our basic block form. It breaks what is in the light from what is turning away from the light. We're gonna go that one step further, right? We wanna impose the rule of three on this. 